What's going on everyone? Today we're going to go over the first time setup of Lightburn for our new Nova laser engraver. Uh, first thing that we're going to want to do is get the USB that came with our machine. This should be attached to your machine ignition key. Um, there's going to be a little USB drive on that ring. So I'm going to find my USB and plug it into my computer. Now when I open up Lightburn for the first time, it's going to open up this window. This is our, our device list window. Uh, it should be blank because this is the first time that we're opening up Lightburn. And in order to add devices to this list, so Lightburn knows the dimensions of the machine uh, and scanning offsets, stuff like that, we're going to click on Import down here in the bottom right of the window. We're going to navigate to the USB, open up the Settings folder in the USB, and I can see I've got two different devices that pop up here. We've got uh, our setup for connecting to the machine via USB and our setup for connecting to the machine via Wi-Fi. So I want to import both of these uh, just in case I ever want to connect via USB or Wi-Fi, whatever the situation may call for. So I'm just going to select uh, the first one, click on open, and it's going to pop up here in my device list. I can see Nova 14 USB, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with my second one, my Nova 14 Wi-Fi. So now that I have them both here in my list, everything's already set up. There's no need to create anything manually. I'm just going to hit OK to save these. So I can see in, in the bottom right here in my laser window, uh, down in the bottom, I can see what device I currently have selected. I want to connect to the machine via Wi-Fi today. So I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to select Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi list as if I was connecting to my home network and find the, the machine's Wi-Fi. So right here I can see Nova 14. I'm just gonna click on Connect, let that do its thing. And if I hop back over into Lightburn, I can see I have Nova 14 Wi-Fi down here selected. And when it connects, right here under the laser window where it says disconnected, this will say ready. Uh, if this isn't refreshing, we can right click here on devices. And there we go. Now we switched over to ready. That means I'm connected to the machine and I can send files to it. So first things first, I need to import the picture that I want to engrave. In order to do that, I'm gonna go over to file in the top left, and then I'm gonna click on import. So I'll find wherever I have my picture saved and double click on it to pull it into Lightburn. Uh, this is not ready to engrave right now. There's still some other things that I need to do to this file. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is trace it. So with the file selected, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to select trace image in the pop up. So you can see the trace image box will pop up. Um, I'm going to hit fade image. That way I can see the lines that are getting traced a little bit better. And then I want to adjust my cutoff and my threshold until I see this pink line around the entire design. So right here I can see that the USA is not outlined right now. I want to adjust until that becomes outlined. So I'm just going to move my threshold over just a little bit. Uh, you may need to play with the cutoff. Um, this is uh, entirely uh, visual. Um, whatever looks best to you, find that. And then once you're happy, now that I can see USA fully outlined, I'm just going to click OK. So now my file has been converted into uh, something that will, will be able to be engraved. I can still select my file and drag it around if I want to. And you can see here, um, let's say I just wanted to, to get rid of this made for precision. So right now I can't do that because everything is acting as one. In order to do that, I need to ungroup this. Um, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to select ungroup. And now if I click off of this file and then reselect, I can actually just move a portion of the file here. I want to lose this made for precision. I don't want to engrave that. So I'm just going to select all of that and I'm going to hit delete. And I also want to move my uh, logo here into a slightly different orientation. I actually want to have the name under our, our little design. So in order to do that, I was just going to select all of the letters here and drag it to where I want it. Now that I'm happy with this, uh, I want to maintain this orientation. I'm going to reselect the entire uh, shape here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit group. So now if I select anywhere in this image, everything is going to move in the same and it's going to maintain this aspect ratio as well. 
Um, after I'm happy with how everything's sitting, I want to adjust some of my layer settings. So if I come over here into my cuts and layers window, um, and the one layer that I have here, I'm going to double click to open up the settings on it. So here we could adjust our speed and our power, um, as well as the lines per inch or the number of passes that the machine will do. Um, I'm going to engrave this on wood. So somewhere in between uh, 300 to 500 lines per inch is usually what most people would engrave wood on. Um, your speed and your power are entirely up to you. Um, the faster you go, um, or the slower you go, and then the more power or less power will affect how the image comes out in terms of how deep it is, um, or how dark the engrave is. Um, so settings that I usually like to do are 700 speed with 60 power. That usually comes out pretty nice. If I wanted this to be a little darker, I could either increase my power or decrease my speed, or if I wanted it to be lighter, I could increase my speed here or decrease my power. Novas are capable of some pretty high speeds, so I'm going to do this engrave at 700 millimeters per second at 60% power. Here you can see my mode is set to fill. This is an engrave. If I wanted this to cut out, I could change this to a line. And then now you can see uh, this is no longer all filled in black, so every line here would actually cut out uh, if I were to send this to the machine. I don't want that to happen right now, so I'm just going to come back over here and change this back to fill. That way I get a full engrave. So I'm happy with all my settings now. Um, I have my air off right now. And the reason behind that is the Novas come with a, an iris system. So the way that the iris system works is it will shut off um, either the uh, top ventilation of the machine or the bed ventilation. When you're engraving, you're gonna want your air to be off. That way the back ventilation of the machine is open and all the smoke that's coming off of the top of your material will flow through that back ventilation instead of the uh, underside ventilation. But if you were to do something like cut, like let's say I wanted to uh, cut this out, just cut a little circle out around it. I'm gonna set this in a new uh, line layer and I'm gonna have my, my air enabled here. So when I enable my air, it's going to uh, shut off the iris that allows the fumes to vent through the back, and it's going to open the iris that allows fumes to vent down. So when you're cutting, you're going to be blasting through your material. Most of the smoke will be coming out of the bottom of the material, and this just improves airflow, sucking out the bottom of the machine. That way, we're getting a better engrave and cut and less smoke in our machine. Uh, I just want to do an engrave here, so I'm actually going to delete this line that I just made and I'm going to leave my engrave. So now that I have my file positioned how I want it, I've got my settings how I want them, I'm ready to send this over to the machine and start running it. So I'm going to come over here into my laser window again in the bottom right, and I'm going to click on send. It's going to ask me what I want to title this file, I'm just going to call this Aeon Logo. I'm going to say OK. And now my file is going to send over to the machine. It's going to load, takes a little bit of time, and after that is fully sent, that will pop away. My file is now on the machine, and I'm ready to run it. And I'll show you what that looks like here. After we send the file to the machine, we're going to get our material and place it in the bed. And then using the keypad, uh, arrow keys, we're going to move our laser head over the material and autofocus onto our material. After we've autofocused, we'll set an origin point, and we're going to frame just to make sure that the laser head doesn't come off of the material and our file is going to be entirely on it. And once we're happy with all of the positioning there, we're going to hit start on the keypad and run the job.
So this is going to conclude our video today. If you have any questions or run into any trouble, as always, you can submit a support ticket to us here or give us a call at the shop, and one of our tech support guys will be more than happy to help you out with any issues that you're experiencing. Happy engraving!